Good morning, grade eights, and welcome back to geometry with um, 2D shapes. And we are looking at um, quadrilaterals today. A note is, um, or something to remember, is that a quadrilateral quad, like a quad bike, quad means four. A quadrilateral is any closed shape with four straight sides and also with four angles inside that quadrilateral. Okay, very important to note is that the angles of a quadrilateral always add up to 360 degrees. So the interior angles of a quad always add up to 360 degrees. Because if you have a look, all of these quads, if you had to um, cut them into two, you will end up with two triangles. And the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees, and 180 times two then gives you 360 degrees. Let's have a look at the type of quadrilaterals that we get and their properties. All right, the very first quadrilateral that we get is a trapezium and he has only one property. So only one pair of opposite sides are parallel. All right, okay, sorry, let's have a look at the kite. Um, the kite has two pairs of adjacent sides are equal. So the shorter sides are actually or obviously equal to each other, and the two longer sides over there is also equal to each other. Okay, the one diagonal bisect the other at 90 degrees. So the one diagonal stipulated or shown there in the blue dotted lines, where they cross, those angles are equal to 90 degrees each. One, two, three, four angles to 90 degrees. Okay, the longer diagonal bisect the opposite angle. So the longer diagonal bisects this angle and that angle. So this one angle gets cut into two. So this one is equal to this one. And over here, this little angle there is equal to that angle there. And then one pair of equal opposite angles. Okay, this indicated in the red. So always remember the fatter angle. Those two, or if you think of the kite, these two angles are equal to each other. Only those two. So these aren't equal to each other. This one is a little bit bigger than this one. But what happens here is that the longer diagonal bisects um, this, this angle into two equal parts and the same. Okay, then the parallelogram, also shortened, we talk about it as the palm, P-A-R-M, so you don't have to write it out, but um, let's have a look at the parallelogram. Okay, both pairs of opposite sides are parallel, so which means this one is parallel to this one, and this side is parallel to that side. As well as that, uh, with that, also both pairs of opposite sides are equal, so this length is equal to this length. And this length over here is equal to that length over there. Both pairs of opposite angles are equal. So this angle is equal to this angle over here. And this angle here is equal to that angle. Okay. And then lastly, the diagonals bisect each other. Okay. Which means that this length over here... The two diagonals where they bisect each other, they form two, two um, sides over here, which means this one is equal to that one in length, indicated with one stripe. And over here, two stripes is the same as that length over there, two stripes. All right, the rectangle. Okay, with a rectangle, both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. Okay, it hasn't been indicated here. Parallel normally has a little arrow like that, but this side is parallel to this side, and this side is parallel to that side. Also, both pairs of opposite sides are equal, as indicated with the little stripes. All four angles are equal to 90 degrees. Okay, with a rectangle and same with a square, all the angles are equal to 90 degrees. And then the diagonals are equal in length. So all four diagonals, the two diagonals that cut each other, they form a distance between the vertex over there 
and the center. So that length over there is the same as that length, this is the same as that length, this is the same as that length. And then lastly, the diagonals bisect each other, okay, as indicated over here as well. All right, then the rhombus, also known or referred to as the drunk square. <laughs> okay, both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. Um, I'm just going to quickly get my pointer here again. Okay, so both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. All four sides are equal. Okay, so like a square, all the sides are equal for a square as well. And the same with the rhombus. Okay, um, both pairs of opposite angles are equal. So this angle is equal to that angle, and this angle over here is also equal to that angle over there. Then the diagonals bisect each other at 90 degrees. So the two diagonals bisect at 90 degrees, so it forms a 90 degree angle there. And the diagonals bisect the angles at each, each vertex. So at each corner there, at each vertex, the, that diagonal bisects that two angles exactly into two. So let's say it was 80, then this one would be 40 and 40. Same there, it bisects it into two, so that angle. All right, and then lastly, the square. Both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. All four sides are equal, we know that. All four angles are equal to 90 degrees, exactly like the rectangle. Okay, and then the diagonals bisect each other at 90 degrees. So where the two diagonals bisect, there it bisects it at 90 degrees. And the diagonals bisect the angles at each vertex. So the same with the rhombus. Each um, vertex over there gets bisected, which means that angle becomes equal to that angle, which will make it 45 degrees each because that angle over there complete or whole is 90 degrees. 90 divided by 2 is 45 and 45. All right, let's have a look at an example how we could ask you. Okay, so most of these with the quadrilaterals, you can actually see the answer. Um, you can, so you, although you must know all the properties, but they do if you look at the question it will give you sort of like a guide as to what it should be or what it would be okay so quadrilaterals are actually quite easy in that respect as because you can sort of see the answer as they ask it uh, for you okay so let's have a look identify the quadrilateral above and then determine the value of a and b okay immediately we can see that a well um a i think would be 135 and b what would you think it would be? Okay, should be eight, hey? So you see, it's easy to see. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to identify what um, quadrilateral this is. Okay, and can you all see that this is a? Okay, it is a parallelogram, all right, or shortened as a palm. So very, very important in your reason, we want to see that. You have to say of a square, of a palm, of a kite. Okay, you have to name the quadrilateral that you are busy working with. Okay, so you can see, all right, this is a parallelogram. Then you start. Statement, A is equal to 135 degrees. Why? Because opposite angles of a palm are equal. Okay, and B, what would B be? B would be 8 centimeters. Why? Because opposite sides of a palm are equal. Okay, just make sure that you work with the correct angles. And also, if you say sides, that it's sides. And if it's angles, it's angles. But very, very important, you have to say that of a palm. Of a palm. Okay, all right. And then, will you please go and do in your... Sorry, would you please go do your homework? It's exercise 12.5 on page 153, only number 1A to F. And you must have a wonderful Monday, grade 8, and we'll see you again tomorrow. Enjoy your day. Bye.